Make a date with Reverend Dr. Ebenezer Markwe at 6 a.m. from Monday to Saturday on Graphic Online via Facebook and YouTube as he expounds on matters of faith. Graphic Online, truth and accuracy every day. Hello, this is Reverend Dr. Benizer Marke of Living Streams International, bringing you matters of faith with Graphic Online. And of course, using the, uh, depending upon the hospitality of La Beach. Now, this morning, I'd like to um, qualify my thoughts with this simple phrase, oral portals of disaster. Oral portals of disaster. Now, I'm, I'm, I'm taking back to the story of uh, David and Michal, the love of his life, 2 Samuel chapter 6. When David, the Bible says, came from bringing the ark to Jerusalem and he had come, he had blessed the people of Israel and he was coming to bless his house. And then the Bible says that, I mean, Michal standing at the other side of the window, not really understanding the mechanics of David's or the reasons behind David's dance with the effort and David rejoicing with probably a, a couple of young girls. He wasn't frolicking with them. He was dancing with them. He was rejoicing with them. Maybe, maybe, maybe because he was wearing a scale. Who knows? I mean, I can't tell. I don't want to stretch your imagination. But obviously, Michal disapproved of of, of David's uh, dance and all that scenario. I mean, she, she, she just disapproved of it. And she said, I don't want that kind of thing. I, I, look, you are a king. And I want my husband as a king to behave himself wisely. You know, she disagreed with him in her mind. But the Bible says, David then came to bless his household, including her. And then she verbalized her agreement or disagreement orally and, and, and said, I mean, she, she, she spoke out loud, how, how, how uh, this thing, base was the king today. Uh, you, 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 Bushman, look at what you are doing. I, I, I mean, ragamuffin, what, look at what you're doing. I mean, rascal, what, what, look at what you're doing. Scoundrel, this is what you're doing. Low life, this is what you are doing. I mean, how can you be so low life and, and begin to, to dance with those low life girls and begin to dance with, uh, and frolic. I wasn't frolicking, but I frolic with those prostitutes. Oh, man her mouth and you know when she said that thing that thing was like a sword it was something it was like a, an arrow or a, a, a jagged edge knife that lacerated the heart of goodwill that David had for his wife I'm coming to bless you and then she, she uttered that thing and then David made a statement he said you know what he said you know what I thank God that I'm low life I thank God that I'm ragamuffin I thank God that I, I'm nobody. I thank God that I, I'm a bushman. Because as for me, I remember that it was God who took me from the, the backside of the desert. It was God who removed me from being a bushman to replace that father of yours. To replace that father with all your bigoties and all those other things. With all your bounty, with all your high-minded, lofty, and, and all of the pomposity. I mean, pompous, uh, this thing. God removed a low life like me picked up a low life like me to replace your pomposity. Then David made a statement and said, you won't respect me. These low life girls, they will give me respect. Michal, womb was closed. David had a child with Bathsheba who was down and he also looked down. So David went for a girl who was lower than him, of lower class, of lower estate. And David picked that person to give to 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 sir his next the next king solomon Michal, her mouth became an oral portal of doom her mouth became the doorway that closed up her womb be careful in the heat of of disagreement or in the heat of this be careful what you say because sometimes if you're not very careful what you say may carry weight into the future I remember somebody saying to, to her husband, but, but you, who, who do you think you are? I mean, you are lazy, do, um, good for nothing, this thing. I married, when my father had this, that, 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 I married and then, and, and, and now look at where you have put me. Look at the house you have put me. One bedroom, one house, one bedroom, one, one room with a, a material partition. And the guy was in tears. And he said, yes, I know, you married below your station. He got rich, and guess what he did? 
When they ask him, he say, hey, madam, hey, she's high. So he go in for his secretary, who was from a lower descent. She treated him like a king. You must treat your wife, you abuse her, make her look so down and nothing. That she will find a prince charming who's going to treat her right. I'm not encouraging adultery. I'm not encouraging it at all. But be careful what your mouth releases. When in moment of disagreement, this thing, be careful what you say. Because your mouth can become an oral portal of disaster. See you later.